One more check-in with those battle warriors in a few moments, but want to tell you about a great event that's coming up this week. Scott Young of WTGN joins us now. And Scott, Hi. you've got uh, Charlie Dyer coming in from the Moody Bible Institute. He's going to tape his weekly show at the Shawnee Alliance Church coming up on September 27th. Uh, that's right. The program's on WTGN Sunday night at 6.05, and also right now we're broadcasting on Thursday nights at 7.05. But he's going to come to Shawnee Alliance, uh, tape the program, take us through a lot of fun stuff. I mean, it's, I, I, that's what, I guess if there's one message I'd like to get to people is this is not a two-hour lecture <laughs> on what's taking place in Israel. You don't have to bring your notebook and write things down for two solid hours, and he's not going to take you through every Bible passage in the Old and New Testament. It's going to be a lot of interaction, a lot of fun. It, it should be a, a really great morning. Yeah, I mean, for those who aren't familiar with this program, The Land and the Book, one of the things he, he does is he really brings the ancient lands and brings those into focus on what's going on in the current events in the Middle East. Yeah, he'll, he'll deal a, a lot with that, and, and I know he's going to try to take us there right now with what's going on with ISIS and all the, just the different things in the, in the background of all that. But also, he's going to share a lot from his own experience. Th this guy has been to Israel like 80, 85 times. It's like his favorite place in the world, other than Lima, Ohio, of course. <laughs> but, you know, he goes over there, and, he, and even as a Bible teacher, he used to be at Dallas Theological Seminary, he said the first time that he went, it was actually a part of his, his job, and he just couldn't wait to get back. It just impacted him. He said Bible passages that he had read for years, they just suddenly be came to light because he was walking on the same ground where Jesus was and doing like some of the same things. So it it's going to be a fun, fun day. Certainly from a, a biblical perspective, there's a lot to be concerned about, a lot to be interested in, in what's going on in the Middle East. It, it's been such a hot button topic for, you know, we like to say for the last couple of months, but oh. really for the last couple of centuries, yes. there's been so much going on in the Middle East, and, and it really takes a biblical perspective to kind of try and put it all into context. You know, that's, that's one of the reasons why we, we brought Charlie or bringing Charlie out for this event, because even like a guy like me, I mean, I, I love Israel. I, I know it, it's God's chosen people that land is, and I know. But for me, even as a guy that loves the place, I I don't think I love it maybe enough. And I think if I go to something like this, it'll give me even more of a heart for Jerusalem and for Israel. Psalm 122.6 says, pray for the peace of Jerusalem. May those prosper, be secure, who love that city and pray for it. And so I want to get a better handle on it, be even more concerned, uh, more aware uh, of what's going on. So that's one of the reasons why Charlie Dyer's come. Yeah, do you think maybe the, the modern American Christian doesn't really understand the importance of Jerusalem, of, of Israel? I, probably. I think that, I mean, I think there are many challenges in America with so much information that's available to us. We're selective on what we look for. And I mean, when you have like a movie star that has so many hits or whatever on whatever page and something like that, and then you have other things and people seem that they're, they're, they know more about movie stars than maybe what they do about the Holy Land. And I think there's something wrong with that. Yeah, <laughs> absolutely. And that's one of the things Charlie's trying to do throughout this, his program is to really to educate as well as to entertain. Yeah, oh yeah, it's, it's, it's gonna be a lot of fun that day. But, and like you said earlier, the neat thing is we'll be able to hear this program on WTGN a little bit later on. So, hey, come up with a good question so you can get on the radio. You know, I always wanted to be on the radio. <laughs> <laughs> uh, it's going to be September 27th at Shawnee Alliance Church. There are tickets available. How can folks get tickets? They're $5 a piece? Five, yeah, we made it very affordable. We don't want the money to be the reason why you're not there. They're available at the church at Shawnee Alliance, but also at WTGN. Looks like they're going to be available the morning of the event. The event runs from 10 o'clock in the morning till noon. Doors open at 9. But we'd love for people to get their tickets ahead of time, get locked in, get committed to it, and show up. And plus, it helps them to prepare maybe with materials and some other things that they're going to be bringing. And you were saying this might be maybe a perfect gift for maybe a pastor uh -huh. at your church. Yeah, I think that would be great. I'd love to see every pastor in the area, just about everyone. I realize some of them have other commitments that day. It's impossible for them to be there, but I'd love to see them there September 27th. That is September 27th at Shawnee Alliance Church. Charlie Dyer's program, The Land and the Book, will be taped live at Shawnee Alliance Church and be broadcast later on at WTGN Radio. Now, if you still need to be convinced to come out to the event, let's hear from Charlie himself on what you can expect. We're going to take you to Caesarea, built by Herod the Great, and then I'm going to take you to Jerusalem. Uh, a walk down the Mount of Olives, a walk uh, through the Via Della Rosa, a walk through the Jewish Quarter, uh, from Hezekiah's Broad Wall to the Western Wall, and from ancient to modern, what are some of the conflicts there, and, and uh, going down through the City of David excavations, and then in Bethlehem. 
Bethlehem the Herodium, uh, the birthplace of Christ, but also uh, with Herod the Great and his burial place now. Uh, what's the interplay going on at the time of Christ's birth?